<laughs> Tanner and Catherine backstage with, I don't have to tell you, this is Keith Urban. All right. Uh, first off, I have to start and tell you about this. This is the funny thing Catherine has. Whenever in the morning show we're playing a Keith Urban song, I am not allowed to speak, not allowed to say a word, even if the song fades. Right. I cannot talk no. until you are absolutely done. That is wow. her right? There is no... <laughs> wow, a listener yes. appreciation. Yeah. Yes, um, until your last <laughs> breath is drawn on that song, oh he's my not allowed gosh. to speak because he would kind of interrupt you a couple times. And yeah, sing I along. Did, I did sit well with me. But, uh, you know, no, I just probably get the stink eye from her. <laughs> she doesn't wow. want to hear me you over that. you. Nobody I don't wants know why. That. I mean, when you look at us, it's kind of like twenty. Oh. It's identical. <laughs> 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 Both good looking. Separated at birth. I, mean, uh, I have to ask you this. I just saw an article there talking about you come to Nashville for the first time. Just you and a guitar. Obviously, you get in town to Nashville. What did you do the first day you were there? What, can you, do you remember what the first day was like? You oh, went yeah, anywhere yeah. or what you did? Yeah, my manager at the time and I came and we stayed at a place called Shoney's, which, <laughs> which is down in Mumbr De Mumbrian, when they had the, the, the motel and the restaurant oh, side by wow. side, you know. Uh, Shoney's Inn was what it was and we stayed there and what I remember from it I mean we went and met a few people and I took this demo cassette around which was terrible mm -hmm. we thought it was awesome until we you know years later we're like this is terrible <laughs> uh, but uh, I what I remember one of the things I remember was we were in the motel room packing up the day after and we had a rental car outside and we're packing up and there's a couple of people cleaning the room and this woman who's cleaning the room she goes where are you boys from? <laughs> and then he goes, oh, we're from Australia. She goes, oh, is that your car out there? And he goes, yeah, that's our car. And she goes, did you drive here? <laughs> did you drive from Australia? The, <laughs> <laughs> the other guy, the other guy helping clean the room, he goes, no, they didn't drive here. That'd be a two-year drive. <laughs> <laughs> Take a long time to get there from so, Australia. That's how long it takes to drive, two years, two years. Awesome. from Australia. Yeah. I, yeah, I would think, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But so, yeah, that was day one. Mm -hmm. But I loved that town. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to move like that. I didn't want to leave. Well, apparently it worked out for you. It yeah, I'm still out. there. <laughs> and here we are, your music now, coming home, a massive hit. We love it. Thank you. Um, now, I understand you made a special phone call um, about that song yeah. to somebody very special. Tell us about that. Yeah, so the song contains a sample from a Merle Haggard song. Mm -hmm. Mama Tried is the original song, uh, which is quite iconic and one that I played a million times in my band days. Uh, but I wanted to use a piece of the song, of uh, the intro, the guitar intro of Mama Tried in our song. And I had the idea for a long time, but anyway, pieced it all together. And then what I wanted to do was reach out to Teresa Haggard, Merle's widow, and ask her for her blessing on the song because it, it's it's something that I do, you know, very very respectfully. And um, so when we're working on the song, I sent out the rough demo to her and also his son Ben Haggard too. I sent it to both of them and called them up and asked what they thought of the song, and they they both loved it. Thank goodness and said that they give the song their blessing. Yeah, what, what if they would have said no? <laughs> then I just would have ditched it. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I yeah, would have just yeah, scrapped yeah, it and done something yeah. else. Um, but I have so much respect for Merle. And we, we do an event every year called All for the Hall. We raise money for the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. And Merle came and did it with us one year. And he was so good to us. And just to get to meet him was uh, just so surreal for me. So. We've uh, had some contests leading up to your concert here using your hometown and Kelsey Bell, so Ballerini's hometown. Now we were using where you were originally born uh -huh. in New Zealand right. and we really had a hard time pronouncing it. Could you please pronounce where you were born in what New Zealand? What a great question. So there's two <laughs> pronunciations. Because okay. there's the Maori, Maori name, which is the native, native New Zealanders, the Maori. Uh, and then there's the white people, which is the Pakihas. So the white people in New Zealand are called Pakihas. And I don't know why I know all this, but I guess because I was born there. But um, so, I grew up with it being called Wong Array. Yeah, W H A N G R E I. Not too hard. So Wong Array, right? Which sounds pretty. It's like W O N G is what it should say. What it mm -hmm. phonetically sounds like Wong Array. Uh, some people say Wong Array. Slowly but surely, the Maori pronounce W H. They pronounce it Fua. Like not quite an F. It's got like a Fua. It's weird. It's sort of Fua. So they say Fong Array. Fong, Fong Array. Fong Array. You're from Fongare. Oh, like, well, Fongare, that could get. Right? We had to be careful with that one. So, <laughs> over the years, I've never been quite sure how to pronounce it. We had someone call us who was from New Zealand, and then by mistake, I said something about a kangaroo, and she said to me, "I'm a, a kiwi, kiwi, not a kangaroo." <laughs> what does that mean? I, I'm, 
Well, I guess the local, the the the, the, the animal that you're known for, like America okay. has the bald eagle, and okay. Australia has a kangaroo, and of course New Zealand that has the kiwi. Okay. The kiwi bird is there. Oh, National bird. Yeah. So Very you good. have some beautiful tattoos. Thank you. How many do you have, and what's your favorite? Uh, I don't know how many I have. Um, and I don't really have a favorite. <laughs> well, what's all, the inspiration? They all, uh, they all have different stories. Okay. Yeah. They're what's the story behind this? Demarcations. Well, <laughs> that's, that's, uh, let's just say... Catherine's touching Keith Urban slowly. She's going to start going, let's go to the next one. <laughs> there is a different tattoo under this tattoo. Oh, okay. This is covering an old one, mm -hmm. and it's sealed with the initials NK, which is my wife's initials, mm -hmm. just to lock that up there. That's right. That's what that one is. After we got out of that question, what do you say we end the whole interview, everybody? <laughs> Keith Urban, thank you. We appreciate it. My pleasure, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.